Okay, let's demonstrate what we're talking about. First of all, there is an excellent video on um, YouTube from New England Journal of Medicine about S1 and the indications, contraindications, the catheter itself, the ports and the procedure. So I advise you to watch it because here we're not gonna talk about any of that. Also, you'll notice we're not gonna talk about the troubleshooting here because this is mainly handled by cardiology and cardiac surgeons and sometimes intensivists. But this is what we talked about. I'm gonna zoom in and zoom out into the, these pictures. So this is a picture here of a patient that has a swan. And as you notice, this is a cordis. If you watch the um, central venous catheters uh, videos, we talked about large bore catheter and this is a cordis. See the cordis is here and this is the port to the cordis. You see it's a large, and um, usually this is a large bore. And usually we insert this, this one, or pulmonary artery catheter. We usually insert it through the cordis all the way and insert all the way to the pulmonary artery. Um, this is, as I said, this is the yellow, this is the tip here. Um, and as I said, there's multiple ports here, one to measure to for wedging and measuring uh, pulmonary artery, one to uh, measure, um, uh, let me zoom, um, and one to um, to be connected to a cables and major cord uh, cardiac output. This is typical for somebody on SWAN. You see all these wires and pumps and medications because usually these people are on multiple infusions at the same times. Let me zoom out and zoom in into a different. See, this is the um, SWAN here connected to these cables. This is the one that usually measure the cardiac output and cardiac index and um, it's usually connected see the same cable is connected here and this will give us the cardiac index and it's 2.6 for uh, this one this is very helpful will um, shortly or soon um, the importance of these numbers and last I want to show you the monitor here and um, this is real patients and this is a CVP it's continuously monitored as we said and it's 20 and this is the the right atrial technically waveform with the E wave V wave all these things and this is the arterial line as we explained and this is the pulmonary artery pressure of that being continuously monitored and this is the waveform we talked about it or we'll talk about it um, depends on the order of these videos.